As you can see, we've just completed a phrenectomy in this patient and, and there's a lot of capillary bleeding. This is quite unusual in a phrenectomy. So I'm showing you this case as an indication of this laser, the eye laser, for hemostasis purposes. The first step in the situation would be to identify the location of the bleeders. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is that the pooling of the blood will absorb all the laser energy with no effect on the bleeder at all. So then, once you've identified the bleeder, you can point your laser, point it at the vessel and move it very slowly, more slowly than you would do it for ablation purposes. Even if you have a stationary tip and there is no coagulation and you're seeing that nothing is happening, you'll have to increase the power. And if even that doesn't work, then it's better to give a pressure pack, wait for a few, maybe a minute or two, and then laze it again. Here we have, as you can see, we have three separate vessels and we're sealing them one by one by one. Please don't go ahead and do all three at one time. What you should do is first identify one, seal that, identify the other one, then seal it, and identify the third one and seal the third one. Otherwise, what will happen is that you try all three at one time and you will pull all the blood together. And that's gonna be a problem for you. If you feel that there's a buildup of thermal energy in the tissues, it's imperative to keep moving the tip all the time. Otherwise, you will carbonize the tissues and that's what we really don't want. The dark color that you see here is not carbonization, but coagulated blood proteins. So don't get worried about it. This is coagulation of the blood proteins themselves. It's also important that you keep moving the tip out of the pooled blood because otherwise the pooled blood will absorb all the energy and when you move that tip out of the pooled blood, you will have a thermal buildup on the tip and that you can use to cause hemostasis of the bleeder.